Hi, this is Zach Mir with the US Chart Breakers here at ZachsTradersCafe.com for Friday the 23rd of June, starting off with the S&P. And uh, here we're still consolidating on what was our previous target, 43.60, the uh, low yesterday, 43.51, so sort of tying in with that idea. While we're above the 43.60 area, looking for hopefully a potential return to the recent rally. Best case scenario target over the next one to two months is up to 4,700. On the downside, probably the initial June resistance uh, towards 4,280, 4,300, the support that we're looking at here for this market. On to the stocks and uh, starting off with um, a bit origin where you can see that uh, Shares look like they're uh, trying to turn around within a rising trend channel base. Uh, decent uh, sort of U-shaped turnaround as well, which gives us uh, more confidence that the turnaround here will be a lasting one. We hone in on this. See that uh, resistance, uh, rather re resistance on the way down was around the $1.60 area above that. We're looking for the top of that r uh, rising trend channel from last month as high as $3.20 or 25 by the end of next month. Of course, you should wait for the RSI currently around 40 to break through the neutral 50 level. One of the more fre frequent flyers here is uh, Carvana. And uh, here we're looking at uh, consolidation within a bull flag. Uh, this was our old target area, so around $23. Above $23, looking for as high as 35 over the next four to six weeks. So let's see if Car Carvana, rather can deliver the goods after the unfilled gap to the upside that we had both uh, this month and actually another one through the 50-day line last month. And we've covered uh, the next stock here a few times before. It's good to see it uh, pushing on higher. Geos, a uh, nice push here and uh, basically touching our $7 target, uh, just about touching our $7 target yesterday, six ninety five. dollars um, Above $7 on an end-of-day close basis, we're looking for fresh leg to the upside, perhaps as high as... Uh, the $8.60 level by the end of next month. Upside, by the way, we hold above the uh, pre-breakout uh, resistance area at $6. Above 6 looking for uh, $8.50 plus. Covered Groupon yesterday, and uh, the shares very kindly decided to rise by around 13%, bouncing off that 50-day line around $4.20 and heading towards an initial target there around $6.80 at the 200-day moving average and that May resistance line projection at the top of that post-May triangle. As long as we're above that 50-day line, we are more incre we are increasingly confident that the shares could push higher. I've covered uh, Lyft a few times before as well, and uh, it's back again on the uh, upside. Here, yeah, quite similar to the Groupon situation that you got uh, support coming in at the 50-day line, and uh, we'd now expect the shares to head towards the 200-day moving average. That's around $12 at the top of that broadening triangle from March. But a nice setup there versus that 50-day moving average and an RSI bounce off the neutral 50 level, which tends to be a decent continuation signal. Moving on to Mink Therapeutics, uh, which is uh, breaking out at the moment. Uh, nice um, Bull flag breakout there and above the recent resistance at $3, looking for up to uh, $4.50 as soon as the end of next month. Both the 50 and 200 day lines rising now. So that does suggest that we are heading into a golden cross, typically the strongest part of the cycle, and a nice rebound within that broadening triangle from back in September. Only back below, well below uh, the uh, $2.50 area, really uh, delaying that upside for potential upside for Mink. Stock which has been covered here well over the recent past is MGO and uh, continues to be worthy of coverage. Uh, here we've had the uh, the breakout there, consolidation uh, around the $1.80, $1.90 area, above the uh, recent resistance at two seventy, looking for up to uh, $6 by the end of next month at the top of that rising trend channel from February. So I've looked at this Next stock for a long time, and it comes in the form of overstock. Here you can see that uh, the shares are uh, breaking through, or just broken through the 200-day line. Uh, recent resistance around $22.80 above that, looking for up to $30 by the end of next month after that extended basing that we had towards uh, the uh, $17 area for the first half of 2023. On to uh, 
stock which is also with on the front foot route uh, here we've broken through the 200 day line looking for potential support at old resistance on the way down around uh, the 11 dollar area above that maybe 11 dollars 20 if you prefer and uh, the resistance line projection from back in october heading towards 19 dollars hopefully we can see that by the end of next month on to the last three one is a frequent flyer soundhound and uh, soundhound ai and uh, here we're uh, near the uh, old uh, February resistance uh, in the $4.20 area. Uh, we're going to get a decent breakout through uh, the $4 area, which is we're going to marginally through that now. Then it's up to $6, hopefully by the end of next month. And uh, the upside valid while we hold above the $3.50 area, which is basically early 2023 resistance. New name now coming up and uh, decent looking stock, Steel Connect. Here you can see that uh, we've uh, basically got a rising trend channel base, top of the channel there, heading towards uh, $11.50. Resistance line break there at $8.75, so above $8.75, looking for that $11 plus target by the end of next month. Finishing off with another new name, and uh, we've got Talaris Therapeutics. Uh, interesting uh, sort of chart pattern in the sense that uh, we've had a handbrake turn type of maneuver, i.e. we... Uh, we were falling sharply before yesterday's gap higher through the 50-day line at $2.50 and above that looking for $3.50 as soon as the end of uh, next month. But that uh, bear trap turnaround, bear trap gap reversal should take the shares higher uh, given how fierce it's been over the last uh, 48 hours. That's it for me today. More updates over the weekend.